Chapter 1, Lesson 4, Ratio Tables A table with columns that are filled with pairs of numbers that have the same ratio is a ratio table. Quantities that have the same relationship are equivalent ratios. Scaling is multiplying or dividing two related quantities by the same number. Example 1. When making lemonade, you use 6 cups of water for every 1 cup of lemon juice. How many cups of water should you mix with 4 cups of lemon juice to make lemonade? So we can use a ratio table. For every 1 cup of lemon juice, we need 6 cups of water. So for 4 cups of lemon juice, how many cups of water do we need? So, to get from 1 cup of lemon juice to 4 cups of lemon juice, that's 4 times the amount. So to make sure our ratios are proportional or equivalent, we need to do the same thing to the cups of water. So 6 cups of water, we have to multiply it by 4, which gives us 24 cups of water. So we need 24 cups of water for 4 cups of lemon juice. Example 2. A race car driver can drive 110 miles in 30 minutes. If the driver drives at a constant rate, determine how many miles he can drive in 24 minutes. So we can't go from 30 minutes to 24 minutes, so we can first stop at a number that goes into both 30 and 24, such as 6 minutes. So we can go from 30 to 6 by dividing by 5, and to keep the ratios equivalent, we also need to divide the miles by 5. 110 divided by 5 gives us 22. So that means in 6 minutes he drove 22 miles. Now from the 6, we can go to 24 by multiplying it by 4. So now we can do the same thing to the number of miles. 22 times 4 gives us 88 miles. So the driver will drive 88 miles in 24 minutes. Try these yourself to check for understanding. Example 3. At the local grocery store, you can buy 12 apples for $6. Find the cost of 18 apples. So we can't make a ratio from going right from 12 to 18. So first we can stop at a number that both goes into 12 and 18. We can use 6. To get from 12 to 6, we divide by 2. And to keep our ratios equivalent, we have to do the same thing to the price. 6 divided by 2 gives us 3. So now we can get from 6 apples to 18 apples by multiplying by 3. And we have to do the same thing to the price and we get 9. The cost of 18 apples is $9. Example 4. Sarah likes to make bracelets. She is able to make 15 bracelets in 2 hours. At this rate, how many bracelets can she make in 7 hours? So because there is no number that's in between 2 and 7, we can find the unit rate. So if she makes 15 bracelets in 2 hours, we can divide by the denominator to find the unit rate and to see how many bracelets she can make in 1 hour. So let's do 15 divided by 2. 2 goes into 15 7 times, which equals 14. We have to add a decimal and add a 0. 2 goes into 10 5 times. So she makes 7.5 bracelets in 1 hour. So we can put this into our ratio table. So to find how many bracelets she makes in 7 hours, we have to multiply that by 7. So we have 7 and a half times 7. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 7 is 49 plus 3 is 52. 
Then we have one number after the decimal, so we should have one number after the decimal in our answer. So she could make 52 and a half bracelets after seven hours. Try this yourself to check for understanding. Example 5. Hannah worked 25 hours this week and made $255. If she worked 40 hours next week, how much would she make? So we could stop at 5 and we can divide by 5 to find how much she made in 5 hours, which would be 51. Then we can multiply by 8 to get to 40 and do the same thing to the amount of money that she makes. 51 times 8 gives us $408.